Okay, we're back with another armor, body armor from RTS Tactical. Pretty flexible, level 3A. These guys actually been good to us as well. They send me all kinds of body armor stuff. They have plates, lightweight, metals, metal plates. I don't know what the zipper is here. I think maybe you can increase this by adding uh, steel plates. In Cabron, there. it's for your phone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think they made the zipper here. You can put your candy, your snacks. Yes. Or if you want to get a little heavier, you can put steel plates. But just by itself is a level 3A. Opens up like that. There's the inside. More area where you can stick plates probably. And we'll test it out to see if it's uh, actually level 3A or not. Oh, it's got a little cool American flag over here, Jasperi. Yeah. Nice let me touch. Show you, let me show you. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. RTS Tactical. There'll be a link in the description. Also, they sent me this uh, paper here. Hello, hello, Edwin. This is our new RTS Tactical Heroes level 3A concealable vest. There's that, just for you give me a zoom in. It's got some uh, information on the front. You can pause the video. And, and the president, the president for the company he signed, okay. Uh, oh, he did? No, no there's no signature. <laughs> <laughs> Six point of adjustments, okay. He also sent the QR code. You can just freeze your screen and take a picture of this. Okay, the link should come up. Just give me a nice focus on that, just buddy. Yes. Okay. You don't look like, like an Aztec calendar. Uh, yeah, like an Aztec calendar. Scan uh, QR, marketing, Mendel, thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. We appreciate you, Edwin. Thank you for all you've done and continue to do for arts. I don't say Jasperi over here. Oh my oh, God. They really mean it. They say thank you to you too. They always talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. But the good thing they say they send me one. They, oh yeah, they send you one. Yeah, the, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care if they don't I'm say that. I'm gonna make sure they send you one. <laughs> yeah, make sure they send me one, that's it. I'm happy. Oh, you're happy with that. Okay, Mr. Ba uh, Mr. Gonzalez, we added this uh, sheet metal because we want to see if uh, the bullets penetrate through this because sometimes it's hard to see through the fabric if something is going through or not this sometimes gets bent or it gets uh, penetrated so we'll know based on this one what happens because also once it hits this thing the holes get so uh, tiny you can't tell so this is for uh, us to be able to see what happens okay and mr. Gonzalez is a big guy and this thing stretches pretty good there you go oh boy Ah, come on. <laughs> I'm cheating on you, that's funny. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> you need a thumbnail too. Okay, we're gonna start with a 22 and we're gonna shoot it with this, uh, this revolver called Sidekick from Diamondback. So, right there, that's why you ready? I'm ready. Quiet, nice and beautiful. Yes. Two, three. Well, let me shoot two over here in this chest. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens. 22 LR, obviously level 3A, it's supposed to stop up to 44 Magnum. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up more with the 22. Let me shoot it just one round in 22. Okay, ready? I'm ready. We go here in the corner. There you go, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yeah, it stopped. I can see it from over here. I don't even wanna waste your time bringing you over here for a 22, but just to prove a good beginning round, it did not hit his nipple. It's good. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez, next. Tiny micro nine millimeter single stack. It's one of the smallest nine millimeter single stacks you can get your hands on. And it's very inexpensive also. I think it's about like maybe 300, 350 bucks or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Might be even less, I don't know. Check him out, diamondback.com. One for the show. And one for Mr. And, Gonzalez. Oh, let's go two for the show. Two. And one for the money. Stays open the slide, very nice. And you put it back in your pocket in the back, right there. See how nice it fits in there. And then one, what is that, my phone? And one goes in there, right there. This is why I like them. You can just grab it, stick it in your pocket, and uh, go on about your day, right there. Okay, did it go through? It made a little uh, ding on the surface of this, 
but it did not come out. Very, very nice. RTS tactical, so far good body armor. Next round. Okay, next it's a 1911 Springfield and we're shooting the 45. One more for the money, two for the show. That's pretty ready? I'm ready. One for the money and two for the show. show. Clear. <coughs> That's pretty. Can you hold this, please? Yes. Pretty good punch. It did not come out. And that's the 45 ACP. Right, Just Petty? Next round. Next round. Okay, 44 Magnum. Raging Hunter. One for the money. Ooh, Papa. Hi, kicks. Papa. Um, level 3A is supposed to stop up to a 44 jacketed hollow point. Magnum. Those be ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's true. Fire in a hole. Ah, cut both of them. See, that's ready? Techniques. Oh. Okay, same thing happened as last time. The, the uh, rip here, it's not from the bullet. It's the force that hits it. So the bullet does not go through. How do I know? You can see over here. Just for being closer. It ripped the uh, fabric, but nothing came out of here. That layer right there, the bullet is stuck right in there. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay, we got a shotgun. Uh, Browning, I don't know what it is. It's an old school 12 gauge shotgun. Using a Fioki one ounce, is that what it is? Fioki? Yeah. Just give me a zoom in instead of standing there not zooming in. There it is, a Fioki one ounce. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. It's a cute shotgun. Very compact. What are those gangsters called for the robbing bank? Clyde, uh, Connie and Clyde, what is it called? Uh, what was the lady's name? I don't remember. Uh, I don't feel like looking it up right now. Those guys are robbing banks. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, that's Bonnie, what, that's what Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, that's, they used to have one of these, um, with, uh, like a cut off more on the front and cut off on the stock on the back. Now you see something like this. Okay, one ounce slug. That's you ready? I'm ready. Record me from over there. Okay. Is it gonna go through? Probably not. Fire in the hole. <laughs> the recoil wasn't that bad actually. I was expecting a higher recoil, but it was like a very smooth. It did not go through. The, uh, the one ounce is really big and it doesn't go that, that fast. Yeah, it didn't come out. It's in there. Right here. Stopped. Right there, I can feel it. There's the wadding. Ah, it's hot. It's here, you can see it. You see that red? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's in there. Okay, an ounce of slug. Will not go through a level three edge. Just putting my shotgun, please. My beautiful shotgun. Okay, don't move. Let me shoot over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good uh, point. You ready? Ready? I'm ready. Okay, go. Fire in the hole. Woo! <laughs> hey, don't move. <laughs> Why wow. does it look like the back didn't come out? <coughs> it didn't. What the heck? Did it stop on the first one? No, go through. It went through. It went through here. Oh, it stopped on the second one. Here. 762 by 54R. R stands for Russia. And we're shooting a Mosin. That's pretty ready for this one? I'm ready. This one go through. Oh, uh, uh, it should go both. through both. I think. One for the money. Should I hit the... What should I hit? Let me shoot that. Well, let me shoot that rock. Ready? Ha! I hit the rock. Yay! <laughs> okay. Body armor. Obviously, we know it's gonna go through both sides. I think. 
That's where you're recording? I'm recording. Point blank. Point blank? Ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Yeah, it came out of the back. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Oh, we should. What other big round bullet do I have? I can shoot it with. Sometimes you just want the bullets to go through body armors. I don't know why. Even though I want them to stop, but sometimes I want to see it come out and do this deal over okay. <laughs> Let me see if I have something else to shoot it with. <laughs> Seeing that thing. Oh, same gun? Same gun, yeah. Three rounds? Yes. I don't even know how many fits. Four or five? Five probably. Ready? I'm ready. Did I even chamber one? Oh, this is a beauty. Look at that. Yeah. How does the back look like? <laughs> it looks like that. Beautiful, right? Yes. RTS Tactical, the vest did what it was supposed to do. It stopped the bullet up to 44 Magnum. Desert Eagle, we haven't shot. We'll go through, right? Yeah, probably. <coughs> How do we know? We need to test it. Okay, bring it. Couple of rounds, Desert Eagle? Yes. <laughs> okay, let me shoot a couple of rounds, Desert Eagle. 50 caliber, and we're gonna shoot with Desert Eagle. It should go through, but we need to know for sure. That's funny. Let me shoot it the other way around. So if it does come out of the second level, we'll see the little uh, fuzzy yellow, okay? Okay. Ready? Fire in the hole. Did it come out? No. That's not what that was? I don't think no, no, that was the that, shotgun. That's a shotgun. Okay, hold this real quick. Did it get stopped? I don't think so. You know what is actually possible to stop it? <clears throat> you have a knife on you? Uh, yes. Oh, this is a big, hefty knife, just buddy. Okay, go through. No, wait, I think oh. it's here. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah, it stopped the 50 caliber, 50 AE. <laughs> I had a feeling it didn't go through. There it is. Two rounds of 50 Desert Eagle. It stopped. The other one I feel it too, but I'm not gonna dig into it. It's in there, ladies and gentlemen. So this is rated... Rated, uh... 4. Level yeah. 4. No, it's not. It's a 3A. <laughs> but it can stop at 50 caliber. Okay, very good. RTS Tactical. Very proud of you guys. Designing something so flexible, lightweight. Easy to carry, easy to wear, that can stop a 50 caliber desert eagle. Okay, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.